Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, it is time to play the Blood Ass, because a bunch of days ago I asked you which mech and which loadout you want to see on the channel, and thank you for all the comments on that video. Um, one of you said I should play a Blood Ass with two LB-10X autocannons and a six medium pulse lasers, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're also going to take the Blood Asp B, because that thing has an ECM as well, and it's always good to shield yourself from enemy sensor, because uh, that means that you are less likely to get shot. I mean, you are pretty a pretty obvious and big target, so try to kind of stay out of the thick of the fights because everybody will shoot you, but in a, in a big brawling scenario where there's lot, lots of things going on at the same time, ECM really helps you because a uh, bunch of people are not shooting you if they cannot target you, and uh, I really like it. It also scrambles enemy sensors, they cannot see how damaged you are already, and you can intimidate your enemies with actually quite good rates of fire here, because the two LBXs, they fire at 2.25 seconds, uh, actually reduced by some skills that we have applied and that means you can continuously fire at them and intimidate them and bring shotgun pellets in their armor so uh, that their armor is kind of getting shaved off over time. We also have some pulse lasers as I was saying to kind of punch some bigger holes and melt armor away. Those things are like your main damage source when it comes to more pinpoint or more focus damage and uh, then you shoot into the open spots with the LBX dealing some additional criticals. That's really good. We have 19 double heat sinks to keep the mech cold but be advised the mech is still a bit toasty if you shoot your lasers over time, so at uh, this point when you are at the maximum heat capacity, when you're at maximum heat threshold, stop shooting the lasers, keep firing the LBXs for the intimidation effect, and um, try to get yourself out of the fight, cool down a bit, and then go in again. That's what I would advise you. We also have some skills, so let's talk about them uh, for a second here. I was going for more firepower than I was going for defense here. I know, this mech, again, it's pretty big, it has those obvious shoulders, which are kind of targetable from every from every angle, but uh, positioning is kind of helping you out as well, especially if you have ECM. So I was going for more of an offensive build today. I wanted to get a lot of heat gen, I wanted to get the laser nodes, I wanted magazine capacity and LBX spread, and a bit of cooldown on the way down. I, however, skipped the two cooldown nodes, which are easily accessible down here, because, again, the heat problem um, they're gonna prevent you from using your cooldown and shooting all the time in a big fighting scenario. Therefore, skipping that because it doesn't help you when your mech is hot. However, we got some survivability here going down the left side of the survival tree, getting some armor hardening, some skeletal density. I just wanted to get some additional hit points, and, but what's more important is heat management. Therefore, more cool run, more heat containment, really max that thing out here so that my mech is cold enough for the biggest fights. We also use enhanced ECM. I think you always have to use it because otherwise your mech will be targetable at 700 meters and that's kind of kind of I don't know, loses the point of an ECM in the first place. So if you if you really want to sneak upon your enemies, use ECM nodes. Because that means that their enemy sensors, re sensor range is reduced by a lot, like a hell lot. And they can only target you at about like 250, 300 meters. And um, that's why I like it a lot. We also have uh, two cool shots. Uh, kind of fills, uh, or kind of fits the pattern that I already told you. Again, heat management is crucial on this build. And yeah, that's it. That's the build. And I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. If you have that, as always, don't forget forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you want more of that, and now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day, we are playing the Frozen City Classic Knight, we are playing Conquest, we are going to, uh, let's say Charlie 4, I think Charlie 4 is where the hotspot is and I want to be there, ideally with a bunch of friends so that we can overpower our enemies quite quickly. So, we're also going to watch this here, the high ground, and uh, we want to push towards Epsilon. The high ground might be filled with light mechs in no time, we're trying to get an angle on us and trying to harass us, but I, I would say we're going we're gonna to move in and we're going to find an angle on our enemies. However, I shouldn't be the one leading the charge necessarily because um, my my mech will run hot at some point when I'm shooting those things over and over again. 36% heat is the build up, as you can see. I mean, the dissipation is okay. I mean, it's not really bad. But uh, is that a UAV? No, it's a star. So my Herbie appears in the video. Yeah, he was helping me out, Mr. Mech Warrior there in the last game where uh, he was shoving somebody away who kind of blocked me in into a choke point and wouldn't go away. And then uh, Urban Mech was coming in and was just bulldozing this guy away from me. That was really cool. Hey, Mech Warrior, thank you. Thank you very much. So, um, talking about friends uh, is also um, bringing me to my enemies. Where are my enemies? The problem is my, my bunny ears stick out a lot. So, if I ever wanted to shoot somebody, the enemies will probably see me earlier than I see them. It would be so cool if we could hold the dropship, by the way. Um, so Mr. Kodiak is pushing forward. Let me try to go up here. I want to see if 
I can actually shoot something over there, which I can. Pretty good. We even brought the medium pulse lasers in. Right. There's a linebacker. Can we just hold it here on the dropship? Would be great. Uh, you want to engage that? Oh my god. All right. Okay, cool. So defensive UAV. I want to see if somebody is behind us. And it seems my people are moving forward. Is one UAV up uh, in Bravo 4. I'm going to try to take it while we are moving. Holy crap. Forward. And yeah, now we are going in. Here's a crap coming in. That we're definitely going to shoot here. Um, sure. You know what? Hi, team. Would you like to engage? Yeah, I'm going to go in. Um, there's an awesome who is getting shot by a lot of people. Um, sure, we can take him. Let's go for it. Oh, he shut down. Let's go for... I have no idea what I'm shooting here. I mean, it's an awesome, that's for sure. But, uh, there is light mix on the flank as well. So, I mean, the awesome is basically dead. Let's go for the other guy, who's also basically dead. Great. And here's an urban mag. We are in his back right now. Can only shoot the pulses. Um, and that's uh, for the reason that I don't really want to go down there. I want to stay on the high ground. Because there is more to shoot up here than there is down there. So let's let's try to help out our friends. Oh, please, buddy. Stay put. Yup. Stay put. Also, we're going to hold this. Yo, guys, we have real problems here in Bravo 3. There are lots of people coming in. Can you help us? Mm, that's bad. That's, that's really bad. I got to move it. He's going to peek again. I'm gonna shoot him once more. And that's my... Something is destroyed. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, we're gonna peek around here. See, that's the problem. A bunch of people were actually pulling down. And as a result, we, we don't have many people here anymore. So, let's see what we can do. There's some uh, somebody coming up here on the side. Shadowhawk, we are in his back. Hi, mister. I'm gonna go for him. We got him. Perfect. Ooh, turning around. Here is the Thanatos. That hit me all the time. Alright, so that is my side torso down now. Which is basically me dead because I'm in the middle of a fight. Having that heat spike coming in from the side torso destruction and that's all I could have done. Yeah, again guys, I was trying to hold the line for you. I hope you can finish it now. Let's see. We had not many people up here, so... Uh, actually, we had a bunch of people here, but look at that Kodiak. I mean, there was no way he would push with me in that condition. Uh, with the Gauss rifles in the back. This Rifleman is still in a good spot here. Let me quickly check what else we got. I mean, come on. You're just gonna get this assassin, right? Right? Holy crap. Our Kodiak down here. Guys, you gotta get the kills faster, because our people on the high ground are suffering big time. It's a 9 and 6 scenario, though. So, yeah, I think they actually stood their ground and they could... Yeah, they could survive. Nice sniper here on the high ground. Coming through, probably helping out our high ground dudes here with the Gauss rifles. This is really good. But now we need to get more kills. You gotta be more active if you wanna get a, get an angle, buddy. Yeah, get him. Nice. Give him hell, because that guy, he harassed me big time. Is that our friend? No, it's a Kodak that's our friend. This is the Thanatos that hit me earlier. Alright, come on, some more shots. Yeah, man, Stealth Thanatos is just, you know, unseen. You're just going somewhere and you're just gonna stay there and not move at all. And you can just shoot whatever you like. There's another fight happening. Side torso, left side, come on. Ah, it's actually the right side that was open there. Uh, the Assassin is damaged on the right side. If you can find him. He's in Bravo 4 right now. Uh, is this video gonna go on YouTube? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Um, pro probably. Let's check it out. I mean, again, I'm out of the game, but hey, we did some stuff. Let's see. Guys, we really need to get some caps soon. Don't don't just hunt it for the for the flavor of, you know, being in the fight. We also want to win the game, right? So, let's see. All right, there's the assassin. Oh boy, can he do it? Assassin is the last guy. Mm, Bravo 4, guys, there's one assassin. And uh, this stalker, look at that stalker with the medium pulses and the MRMs. He's really trying to go somewhere right now, but he's so slow with the 48.6 kph. Our Thanatos still trying to get the overview to get the assassin down. And um, I don't know, nobody's really capping still. It's kind of weird. This guy here is completely shut down for I don't know what reason. Guys, if you want to win the game, we got to do something now. Seriously. Yeah, we got to do it. The guys are at 600. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the assassin is still in Bravo 4. Kodiak, defend yourself. Come on. You will just get killed. What? Come on. Guys, play smart. 
You gotta win this. It's just one enemy. It's like, <laughs> I kind of feel like, like in an alien movie right now, where there's this one apex predator destroying everybody, unseen, unknown, and unbeatable. Um, and it seems like, I mean, we get Kappa, that's good, but we will not be fast enough to actually get everything else. Holy crap. What's going on, man? Come on, you could, why are you shutting down? Seriously. Probably, I don't know, do you want to keep your, like, kill-death ratio? You could at the very least go to a capture point, man. Oh, man, all right, so let's see. Stalker is absolutely able to get this guy down with all of the damage and firepower that he has. He just needs to not shut down. Behind you, buddy. Behind you. Turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> now it is... Yeah, it's over. It's just over. Enemies got the capture point. I was calling it earlier and nobody reacted. So it kind of feels like a victory. But a bad one because we lost it in the end through the caps. Now, we got a killing blow. We got uh, 9 assists, 3 kill most damage dealt, 734 damage done, six, uh, 560 taken with 4 components destroyed. That was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing the Mining Collective. We are playing Domination. Let's get to the center of the map and see what we can shoot. We have a bunch of people here on the right side. We have a Cyclops, a Marauder 2, and a Crab, as well as more skirmishes on the left, like a Cicada, a Wolverine, a Timberwolf, and a Thanatos as well. So there's some heavy firepower on the board on our side, certainly. Our Assault Maker Echo 2 is not moving, though. Who's that? It's in it's in my lands. It's the uh, another blood ass that is currently not. Ah, now he's moving. All right. So he just took his time a little bit. And you know what? I'm gonna stay here in the um yeah in this area. And I want to see if somebody is coming. Wait a sec. We're gonna move over here to break line of sight there. And then we're gonna uh, turn around here so that we can see if somebody is trying to peek on this area. I also want to rock my mech back and forth a little bit. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And, um, yeah, have some momentum going in case I need to dodge something. It's always harder to shoot a moving target, you know? Therefore, always stay in motion a little bit. And now that we have the jack up front, is there a UAV? There is a UAV, actually. Uh, there's a UAV up in uh, Echo 5, guys. Alright, we got that UAV. Um, hmm, do we push? Are we pushing, guys? Are we doing it? Alright, let's go. Okay, I'm pushing over, I'm gonna go through the center then. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, that's uh, that's a bad thing to happen here. That's a big, big thing. Ouchie. There's another UAV. I'm quickly gonna try to take that. All right. So, information gone. Lots of enemies around, but we have all of our people here. All right, let's wreck those guys. Echo five. Let's do it. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna shoot them and then we're gonna go and have a good time. Oh man, that king crab is disconnected, right? Yeah, I believe so. Ah, uh, hello, little one. Oh boy, he just got wrecked. Um, turning around? Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and do that. That's a friend, by the way. There's a guy behind him, though. Um, yeah, oh no, back to Echo 3, I think, and then we're gonna win the game. I think that's what we are going to do. I hope we have enough people here that are helping us out with some target diversion. Uh, target diversion? Um, you know what I mean. Um, that's a lot of AC5s on the frag, but he doesn't get the angle on me. So, let's go for the, uh, the Hopper of Grasses. Hi, Hopper. Alright, that's enough for the moment. Can shoot the, uh, the awesome a bit more. And we are, again, getting hot. Wow, all of these enemies were... Okay, no UAV. Uh, were, we're so split. There was a big NASCAR going on. Here's the Hopper once more. What's the Hopper doing? It's just confused, I think. Cool shot. Okay. Good. Lots of damage there. 5 and 0, people are collapsing this flank, so we're gonna go for the Hopper. He is the awesome. Uh, let's try to stay on the high ground. Oh yeah, he is gonna go down. He is actually down already. Oh, and I think this is where we're gonna go in. And we're gonna brawl him to death, hopefully. Um, you know what? Your heavy PPCs have no power within 90 meters. And that means we're gonna just push you, and then we're gonna kill you, and then we're gonna go up here and get the last guy. Um, I, I think we're gonna win this game. Feels like. Feels very much like it. Another one. And a little one. Uh, it's... Wow, he's overheating to death. Well, um, yeah, it kind of feels like a bit of a storm, but it was on the enemy's, uh, kind of fall that they completely split up. They had, like, two different... Uh, two different uh, lances. They, they, they were, you know, we were just going in, just murderballing the first one, and then turning around and murderballing what was left. 
Guys, bring more firepower to a single spot than the enemies and you will just win the game. We got four killing blows, we got six assists, we got three kill most damage dealt, 724 damage done, 200 taken, nine components destroyed. That was crazy. And that was your daily dose for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.